Hi, this is Lucia with The Art of Love. I'm a dating and relationship expert specializing in helping you get your ex back. Today's topic is six signs your ex is miserable without you. Ooh, I bet that title caught your attention. So if you've been broken up with and you want your ex back, or even if you've decided actually that you don't want your ex back, it appeals to you the thought that they may be miserable for different reasons. If you don't want them back, it's because you realized that they really weren't good to you and you feel like this is karmic retribution. It's like, good, I was miserable, now they can be miserable. But if you do want them back, you might be thinking, well, if they're miserable without me, that may be their incentive to come back. And you know what? You're not wrong. So before I go through the six signs, I want to remind you to be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. And while you're at it, tap the bell icon to make sure that you get notified when a new video is up. Okay, so let's start with the first sign in no particular order. And that would be social media posts. That's pretty obvious. If they put sad posts or memes, if they were happy, they obviously would not be posting about sad things. And they may be doing it because they want you to reach out, but don't fall for it. They still need to reach out. So don't let it tug on your heartstrings where you think, oh, he's in pain, she's in pain. I want to help them. No, they need to help themselves and reach out to you. So don't fall for it but just be secretly happy that they are posting sad things on social media. Number two is that they on, are on a dating merry-go-round, a dating whirlwind. <laughs> you find out that they are on several dating apps. They're always out, it would seem. They're always dating someone new. And as much as you may hate that if you want them back, that's actually a good sign for you because it means that they are trying to forget you or quickly replace you, especially if they are dating someone who looks similar to you. They're trying to distract themselves. But don't worry, it just means that they still have feelings for you and every date that they go out with will simply be a reminder that you are not in their life. So don't be too concerned if they're dating a lot of people. If anything, be concerned if they're just dating one person, but even that may not work out. But if they're on a dating whirlwind, that's actually a good sign, believe it or not. Number three, they've either gained or lost significant weight within a short amount of time. So depending on someone's personality, after a breakup, whether you are the dumper or the dumpy, you're either going to start eating a lot more or you're going to not eat at all. Luckily, I'm in that second category. When I'm going through a breakup, I don't eat at all. It's great for losing weight. I remember one time for dinner, all I had was a half a cup of coffee. I couldn't even do a full cup. And I love grapes, always ready to eat grapes. And I opened the fridge to see if there was anything I wanted to eat and there were some grapes. And you know what? I could not even put one grape in my mouth. The thought of putting one grape did not appeal to me. So if you see that someone's lost a lot of weight or gained a lot of weight, then it's a sure sign that they are probably miserable without you. The next one is drunk dialing. No, this is not a new TV show. <laughs> You've heard the saying, the drunk mind speaks the sober heart. So alcohol usually gives people courage to do and say what they would normally not do or say. So if all of a sudden you hear from them when they've been drinking, then that's a good sign that they are not happy without you. I remember one time when I was 21, I broke with, with this guy just kind of on the spur of the moment for no real reason. And I was a brat, I know. <laughs> That's what happens when you're 21. And uh, and then within a week or so, he called me drunk in the middle of the night. He's like, why did you break up with me? I know, I know, it was bad. But luckily, I later apologized, so. 
but yeah so if you hear from your ex when they're drunk that's actually a good sign believe it or not moving on number five is trash talking mm -hmm. <laughs> trash talking about you and what's happening here is that they feel low so they're trying to bring you down to their level they're trying to convince themselves and anyone else around who will listen that you know you weren't all that <laughs> but do not react do not get sucked in understand what's happening is they're upset with you and they are probably not very happy without you so they're trying to, trying to make you seem insignificant but if you were that insignificant they wouldn't be wasting time talking talking about you so they're contradicting contradicting themselves so again, just ignore it and carry on with the no contact. And then finally, number six is they become shut-ins. Now, at the moment that I'm recording this, we are currently, a lot of us, still shut-ins <laughs> because of what's going on. We've all become shut-ins all of a sudden. Um, but in normal times, I'm talking about. Now, usually dumpees do this in the beginning when they've been dumped, they want to be alone with their thoughts. So they shut themselves in, literally and figuratively, and then eventually they start to feel better. However, dumpers, it's the opposite. They're usually okay at first, but then when they find out that single life isn't as wonderful as they thought it would be, eventually they too want to be alone with their thoughts. So there you go. Those are the six signs your ex is miserable without you and let me go through them once again number one is sad social media posts number two they're on a dating merry-go-round number three they've gained or lost a lot of weight in a short span of time number four drunk dialing number five trash talking and number six they've become shut-ins so have you noticed one or more of these signs with your ex and can you think of any other signs that you've found out signify that your ex is miserable? Comment below. And in the meantime, if you would like my help to get an ex back, you can contact me about private coaching and we will send you the rates. The link for that is below and that is theartoflove.net. And if you found this video helpful, then please like and most importantly, share so that other people can benefit from it just as you have. If you're listening on iTunes, I would appreciate if you would rate and review the podcast. And finally, remember that love inspires, empowers, uplifts, and enlightens.